Herman Kingma. I'm the inventor of the Balance Belt. The Balance Belt was developed specially for patients with a severe bilateral vestibular loss. And these are people that generally have a severe problem with balance and are at risk to fall and they suffer from oscillopsia, a poor vestibular oak reflex. When they are walking, they experience a blurred vision. How can you identify that apart from the complaints by simple tests? Well, most people have a problem when they move their head that they get a blurred vision and you can test that. Let them look at a letter chart Ask them to close the eyes and you start to shake the head of the patient with closed eyes with a frequency of about 2 Hz. Then you open the eyes while shaking and you ask the paper, people, the patient, which line they can still see sharp. Then you stop shaking and you ask them which line they can see without movement. And generally you can see that patients with a severe bilateral loss lose at least two or three lines in visual acuity. A second simple test is to ask them to stand with feet in tandem, close the eyes and stand like this. Well, people with a very poor balance cannot do that for 10 seconds or even shorter. So that is a severe problem in balance. You can also ask them to walk for about 10 meters and turn around. See how they walk and how stable they are while they turn around. Repeat the same gait analysis by letting them walk for 10 meters again while they are moving the head from one side to the other side with a rhythm of about one second. Again, you observe stability in gait. Two other tests that you can apply. One of them is to let them walk. And while they are walking, you ask them to stop and to pick up something from the floor and go back. And the last test, to ask them to walk towards a place and then tilt something from a shelf or high placed shelf and put it back again. Many patients with an impaired vestibular system have problems with these things. You give the belt for about two weeks to the patients or three weeks to use it in their daily life. Try to challenge much conditions that they had problems before. We also ask patients what is your mobility and balance. We call that the MBS scale. The MBS scale ranges from 0 to 10. 10 means the balance and the mobility that the patient had before he had all these problems. Most patients with a bilateral vestibular loss go down the scale to 5 or lower. After wearing the belt, most of these patients will improve from below 5 to about seven or even eight, clearly indicating that there is an improvement. Then after wearing the belt, you also evaluate again whether they can stand in tandem with eyes closed. And you ask them to walk 10 meters, turn around with and without moving the head from one side to the other side. And you observe the quality and balance of gait. And last but not least, you ask them while they are walking to suddenly stop and pick up something from the floor. And you ask them to take an object from a high placed shelf and to put it back again. Generally, we'll see that the performance in picking up things, walking and picking up things from the shelf will be improved. What are the best patients for the balance belt. What is the precise indication? Severe bilateral loss of a peripheral origin. And these are patients generally that have a poor balance, are at risk to fall, and they suffer from oscillopsia, 
So then when they're moving the head, they have a problem in seeing objects sharp. You have a blurred vision. These patients with these complaints are the perfect patients for the balance belt.